Journal entries for merchandising companies are different than those from service industries that we've done up till now. Today we're going to look at purchasing transactions under the perpetual method, which are different than purchasing transactions under the periodic method. Let's say we have a company that decides to buy some inventory under the terms FOB shipping point 210 and EOM. Now let's just quickly review those terms. 210 stands for a 2% discount if paid within 10 days, and the NEOM is that the net amount is due at the end of the month. If that NEOM instead had been N30, it would mean that the net amount would be due in 30 days rather than at the end of the month. So we have a purchase transaction when it has terms of FOB shipping point 210 at end of month. That means that we bought it on credit, and so therefore we have an account payable that we owe somebody, that's going to go up by crediting it, and our asset, the inventory that we now own, will also go up. What would happen if we had bought that with cash instead? The entry would be exactly the same except for the accounts payable would simply become cash. We would still have inventory, and now we would have less cash. So let's say that after a little while, a few days go by, and we find out that we have too much inventory. We need to return some of it. Maybe we ordered too much, Maybe they shipped too much, we just ended up with too much inventory, so we returned $3,600 of that to the seller. Unlike in the selling transactions, we do not have a special account for this. We simply reverse the original transaction that we did when we purchased the items. We credit inventory to show that it has gone down by the amount we returned, and we debit accounts payable to show that we now no longer owe the amount that we had before. And that's it. The purchaser transactions are much more streamlined than the seller transactions because there's not lots of special accounts. Everything runs through inventory. So after a few more days we decide that we're going to actually pay off this account. So we pay RST for the original purchase less the returns and we're still within that discount period. So the first thing we need to know is what amount do we owe them because this is the amount that is going to go away after we write the check. Well if you remember we originally purchased $30,600 we returned some of that and so our net purchase is only $27,000. When we make this entry the amount of accounts payable that has to go down is $27,000 and we have to write a check for some amount of money but we don't know what our discount is. So let's go and figure out what that check should be written for. The original terms were 210, so that we got a 2% discount if we paid within 10 days. So we're going to subtract out that discount of $540, which is 2% of the amount we owe. That leaves us writing a check for $26,460. So our accounts payable is going down, and our cash is also going down for that amount. The difference the $540 we just calculated, that is the amount that inventory is reduced. In effect, we actually only paid $26,460 for the inventory. So by reducing the inventory of $540, it is reducing the inventory back to that number that we originally paid. Remember, there are no special accounts for purchase discounts under the perpetual method. We simply reduce inventory. Next, let's look at what the freight would be. If it's FOB shipping point, who needs to pay for this freight? Well, shipping point means the tr title transferred at the moment that it got loaded on the truck, which means it's our bill. Once the bill comes in from UPS or FedEx, we are simply going to debit inventory, credit cash to pay for that shipping charges. Once again, no special freight expense account, it just runs through inventory, which in effect is just basically adding to inventory the cost to get the goods here. When you buy something online for $20 and they add $5 shipping, what does it really cost you? $25, those two numbers added together. The purchaser has some really nice features because everything is going through inventory and we have no special accounts to keep track of.